embark on a journey back in time as we delve into the lives of the women of the ancient world. These women were not mere spectators in the unfolding drama of civilization. No, they were pivotal figures, the unseen hands that shaped societies and etched their mark on the sands of time. We will traverse the sun-drenched lands of Egypt, the marble cities of Greece, and the grandeur of Rome, exploring the roles and influence of women in these ancient civilizations. Join us as we uncover the stories of these remarkable women who shaped the course of history. Our first stop is the land of the Nile, ancient Egypt, a civilization where women held significant power. The queens of Egypt were not mere figureheads. They were leaders, warriors, and builders of empires. Let's take the iconic Queen Hatshepsut, for instance. She was not just a queen, but a pharaoh, a title typically reserved for men. She ruled Egypt for over two decades, during which she brought prosperity and peace and left behind a legacy of magnificent temples and monuments. Then, of course, there's Cleopatra, a woman whose name echoes through history. She was the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. Cleopatra was not just known for her famous beauty, but also for her intellect. She was a shrewd political strategist who managed to keep Egypt independent during a time of rising Roman power. These queens were not exceptions, but the rule. In ancient Egypt, women could become pharaohs, own property, and even go to court they were able to challenge and redefine the norms of their society. From ruling kingdoms to leading armies, these women were as formidable as the pyramids that symbolized their civilization. We now journey to Greece, the cradle of Western civilization, where women's roles were vastly different. In ancient Greece, women were typically confined to the domestic sphere, relegated to the roles of wives, mothers, and homemakers. However, this did not prevent some from becoming figures of legion and influence, their stories echoing through the corridors of time. First, let's talk about Helen of Troy, often referred to as the face that launched a thousand ships. Helen was the unwitting catalyst for the decade-long Trojan War. Despite being a mortal woman, Helen's beauty was said to rival that of the goddesses, and her abduction by Paris of Troy sparked a conflict of epic proportions. Her story serves as a testament to the power of allure and the chaos it can incite. Then, there were the mythical Amazon warriors, a tribe of fierce, independent women who shunned the traditional roles assigned to their gender. These women were reputed to be formidable warriors, equal to any man on the battlefield. They lived in a society where women were not only warriors but also rulers, a stark contrast to the male-dominated societies of their time. These women, real or mythical, challenged the societal norms of their era. They were not simply passive figures but active participants in their own stories. Their tales, whether of beauty or bravery, have been woven into the rich tapestry of Greek mythology, influencing art, literature, and culture, for centuries to come. Though their roles were often confined, these women left an indelible mark on Greek mythology and history. Finally, we arrive in Rome, where women were the backbone of one of history's greatest empires. In the bustling streets and grand villas of ancient Rome, women held a unique and vital role. Their influence permeated all corners of society, from the humblest homes to the grandest palaces. They managed households, raised children, and often controlled vast fortunes, becoming forces to reckon with in politics and society. Among these formidable women was Agrippina the Younger, a woman of remarkable strength and cunning. Born into the Julio-Claudian dynasty, she wielded her familial ties and political savvy to become one of the most influential women of her time. She was a wife, a mother, and a master manipulator who knew how to play the treacherous game of Roman politics. Her son, Nero, would become one of Rome's most infamous emperors, largely due to her influence. Yet the power of Roman women wasn't confined to the political sphere alone. At the heart of Roman religious life were the Vestal Virgins, priestesses of Vesta, the goddess of the hearth. 
They were chosen from noble families at a young age, and for 30 years they served the goddess, maintaining the sacred fire that was vital to Rome's well-being. Their role was so crucial that they were given privileges not afforded to other women, such as the ability to own property and the freedom to move around the city unescorted. These women, and countless others like them, played a pivotal role in shaping the Roman Empire. They were more than just wives and mothers. They were leaders, influencers, and power brokers. They navigated the complex waters of Roman society with skill and tenacity, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of history. In the heart of Rome, these women wielded power and influence, shaping the empire's destiny.